How's it going, guys? It's been a while since I played some Minecraft, but, uh, yeah, I've resorted to playing Detect It. Uh, this is about the only thing that I find interesting with Minecraft anymore, so I'm just gonna do a couple episodes of it, and we'll see if you guys enjoy it. Uh, me and Chris, um, Moody, Razor Sharp Art, whatever you guys know him as, I don't really know. Um, we, anyways, we've been working, uh, pretty hard... This was all one night. I'm um, just going to show you what we have at this point. Um, yeah, you'll hear mobs in there if uh, the audio is not too loud here. I'll turn this up a little bit for you guys, but i got to turn on my headset first. Because, way overkill. Um, anyways, yeah, this is our Ticket server. I'm not going to... It's not public or anything. But yeah, this is our very basic power system. And our very basic... Uh, um, Automatic macerating and smelting process, which uh, works fairly well, as you can see. Works better than it should. And then we have the energy condenser, and uh, the rest of this is just stuff we use to build the castle, which uh, I spawned in at right here. Creeper instantly blew up in my face, and this is the spawn point. Now, before we get started, let me just show you guys the amazing spawn we have. Um, you know what, screw it, uh, Chris decided that he was going to build this castle on my way, so, oh god, okay. And then I couldn't type. There we go. What? We'll be back. Okay. Yeah, that was painful to watch, I'm sure, for many of you. Because we, uh... I haven't even been, been able to see this castle. This is Chris's little project that he's been working on. But this is our small, relatively small, I guess, uh, island. Um, I did have waypoints set because I know I flew out somewhere to see if there was any other landmass anywhere. And um, there seemed to be. But anyways, this is our small little island. Um, to be honest, I did have to spawn in the rubber trees because um, we had... No, no rubber trees in this whole island. So we were basically screwed, and we didn't want to... We wanted to stick to this island, you know. We wanted to keep this as our HQ, so we decided to be cheaters. But we won't do that anymore. But, all right, so... I'm actually just going to wait till I get down here first. All right, so... Now, there's one problem. Chris uh, has neglected to rid this place of mobs. Which, uh, there's actually quite a few in there, but they're kind of tucked away at this point. So, you might wonder, what are we going to do to get rid of those mobs? Well, we're going to take some iron. And... There's more iron. There we go. Alright, now we need some flint. Now, this is honestly the coolest thing about Tech. It. Me and Chris ended up just fighting each other. Um, thanks to this. So, all right, let's, we also need a little bit of wood. Um, very, very minimal amount, like two sticks and two planks, I think. Yeah, I'm the organized one. He, uh, apparently is not. What in the world? Oh, there we go. Okay, this is why I would have rather started on my own, but... Chris was, uh, oh, I only need one piece of wood. So that's a stock. Um, but as you guys know, I like playing with Chris, and there'll be a small community spread up. We'll see other people. I figured it would be a little bit more interesting that way. So, yeah, there we go. I actually got that right the first time. Wow, I'm impressed. Um, uh, I have a musket barrel now. Um, and now I have a musket, which is great, but, you know, you, muskets are kind of old school. Uh, you have to wrap the ball, uh, ball up. They're not even rifles. Um, the barrels aren't rifled or anything, so we're going to take a little bit of iron. And anybody who knows anything about muskets knows that you have to put the gunpowder in and you have to wrap it with paper. So, we'll just put 12 in, and I think that should give us a stack and a half good. Alright, cool. So, now the one disadvantage that I've noticed with the musket, um... Now, there's also blunderbuss, which is like a big shotgun. Um, I prefer the musket, though. Which I already had one made, I just wanted to show you guys, and I'm leaving that in case we need it otherwise. But, um, 
Oh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. It's been a long day for me. I just, I haven't been able to record anything, because as the excuse I always give you guys, school. So, oh, 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 switch it. No! No, no, no. Oh, the one problem with muskets is they take ages to load. Are you there? Oh my god, it didn't even do the animation. Sometimes it bugs out. Uh, the muskets do, you're supposed to just... There we go. Now I'm supposed to be able to pull it back like a bow and arrow and shoot it. But sometimes it bugs out and shoots it right when you let off the mouse. And that's kind of a problem. Now, I could care less about zombies and that kind of stuff. Um, creepers are the big issue for me uh, when it comes to this place. Although the floor is made out of obsidian. Kind of expensive. But, um... Oh, I actually hit it? Wow. Die, fiend. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna basically spend this... The beginning of this episode, um... Clearing out this thing. Or clearing out this mess I spawned in. But I don't know. I'll play it for... Or I'll be playing... Um... A lot of tech it, so... This first episode's gonna be kinda... Basic, but... Or shoot them up. I don't, I don't even know how to describe this episode. But my whole point is that uh, it's going to be long, long episodes. I'm hoping. And to be honest, this might have been a different material here. Um, probably. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that this was. Um, yeah, I am going to time set here just because. Well, no, I, I guess I won't time set in the video. Eh, I'll probably, if, if I do any of that crap, I'll do it off camera. Kind of feel cheap doing that in my videos. <sighs> Come here. And one to the head. Alright, so let's go ahead and dump the worthless junk in here. What's right in flesh even worth? Eh, decent enough, I guess. Alright, so let's take a little bit of sand. I think that should be enough. And let's make the smooth brick. Like he has in there. And this should be... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Come on. Load, 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 load. Okay. And then after this, we're going to have to replace the iron bar that's missing there. Um, actually, it's several. Jeez. All right. And we're going to place torches. So let's go ahead and head over here. I'll just toss this in here, I guess. Um. All right, now we're just gonna grab some sticks. Um, need way more than that. There we go. And we're just gonna make a stack of torches. Although, yes, I know there is much better ways to light up stuff and tech it. Um, I'm starting off with the basics to make up for the fact that I didn't start from the beginning with the videos. So. Um, Hopefully you'll understand that. If not, uh, it's my series. I'm going to do what I want anyways. So, enjoy. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hating somewhere else, because I couldn't care less. <sighs> Real. That's it. Just come here. I know it damages the pick more to do that, but... Don't really have a choice when the spider's in my face, because you can't... You can't fight something that's faster than you with, uh, <laughs> with, you can't fight something that's faster than you with, uh, without having to use a melee attack. Well, in Minecraft, at least, um, I guess, I, I guess, technically, you could fight with, uh, you know, anything you could get your hands on, you could probably still kill something that could outrun you. Not the point, not the point, I don't know, I'm going off on tangents here. We're gonna, uh, oh, 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 sweet Jesus, get away, get away, get, no, 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 okay, just gonna load it, and, I mean, see, see, technically I could, but I just take, take more damage that I would rather just avoid taking, so yeah, we're just gonna place torches all over the place, because I'm just gonna be nice, you know, I'm gonna be good guy, good guy Jin, and, uh, place torches up here, since he forgot to, and when he loads in, probably any minute now, because I mean, I 
the thing is, I was looking for the server hoster, and oh my god, this server host that I decided to go with, literally the second I paid, I went, hit activate control panel, or, you know, see control panel, whatever, instantly went to it, and instantly the server was already up and running, so I just transferred my world file over. It was a fantastic server host. Anyways, we're going to leave this at this. This isn't going to be my house or anything. Um, probably end up letting Chris enjoy this this home at this point. Uh, we'll probably do a couple videos together when he can come over. But as far as uh, him not being able to record when his family's around and stuff, we're not going to do too many videos together, which sucks. But that's fine. That's life. All right. So now we're pretty much set. I still don't know what this tungsten ore does. But we will find out. Alright, so the objective of... Get down from there. See, that's that what I'm talking about where it doesn't do the noise or anything. Alright, so the objective of this episode is going to be to construct a quarry. And I want to have our quarries based off offshore. Holy crap, that is Squid City. Jesus. I want to see if I can get them. Let's get travel underwater. Yes, they do. Alright, anyways, I want to be able to build a quarry. Now, this ep or this series is, um, as you're about to see, going to involve... This is a terrible... What am I thinking? Um, this series is going to involve an awful lot of tapping out because I do not know the little command that lets me... Um, no! I don't want, I don't want leaves. I don't want to cheat. I'm not a cheater. No! Get... How do I get rid of this? Options. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Usage recipe. I can hit R, apparently. Okay. And then I can... Can I do it over here as well? Okay, yeah, okay. Never mind. I found out how to do this. I really should have just looked at the controls. Alright, so our objective today is, one, to be getting rid of these leaves, because I'm being a cheater, and... I'm not going to spawn stuff in. Um... Really? Okay. That's it. Chris, when you see this video, I hate you. Next time, dude, light up the roof. Really? Okay, then. Light up the roof. I mean, I'll probably end up doing it for you in this episode at this rate. Oh, God, I didn't see you there, Mr. Spider. Get, get out of my life! No! I really should just go with that shotgun. That blunderbuss thing. Yeah, you see me over there, Mr. Creeper? Yeah, you do. Now die. Okay. Now that we're, um, you know, not gonna be horrendously interrupted, I'm just gonna place some torches here. Okay, so the objective of this little episode is going to be to construct a quarry and place it offshore so it can mine us all sorts of goodies, um, and just make it so we don't have to go on mining trips, because, I don't know about you guys, but... I don't like going on mining trips. They're not, they're not fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna be OCD about this, and it's not even my house, so I'm not gonna be OCD about it. But if he wants to change the torch placement, he can go right ahead and do that. But I'm going to just light up this area so I don't get eaten alive constantly. I should probably make myself a house build like a little artificial island or something just I don't know something to make it so I have a little place to do the videos and stuff oh and sure enough all right Alright, so the objective is going to be to build a quarry. So let's go and filter for quarry. And we need a diamond pick. How do we make diamond gears? Gold gears, which are iron gears, which are stone gears, which are wooden gears. Okay, so this is rel relatively easy. Chris says hello. Um, I'm just going to inform him real quickly that we're, uh, of what we're going to be doing. I guess I'll be right back. All right, cool. Just let him know that we, I was gonna be busy making a quarry and stuff for uh, for the episode, and um, 
he's pretty cool. So, or Chris is. What am I talking about? Chris is amazing. Probably won't see this video. Chris is really. Chris is really just a douche. No, I'm kidding. Chris is like my brother. He's. I'm an only child, so he's my best friend. Um. Why were you in creative? We'll find a maniacal evil way to get him back for being in creative. That's um, objective two of this episode. Get Chris back. Alright, let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of gears. Just like, I don't know. Not really a whole bunch, I guess. But, I don't know, probably um, six sounds about right. Let's go ahead and look at this again. Um, seven. We're going to need seven. Um, so... Yeah, so I guess me and Chris will be sharing resources, but we're not going to be working together, which is a little bit awkward. But, you know what, that'll work out in our favor. Eventually. I think he just activated one of the machines, because it just let out a terrifying shriek. Alright, so I'm going to take part of our diamonds, um, the portion of our diamonds, actually, because cause I'm a sleaze like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this, and make... What do we need? Two stone gears? Oh no, we need three iron, so all these have to be stolen eventually. So we need to make all these into stone, and then one in, or three into iron, two into gold, two into diamond. Okay, my, I don't have the best memory, so we need to make all these into stone. Here we go. This is how I remember. Two, two, three. There we go. Alright, so now we just coat this up with iron, and we make three full iron gears. Just shift clip this back in our inventory here. And then we will put some... Oh, they have to be made in iron first. Genius. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and make all these into iron. I forgot why these were so expensive. I was like, ah, well this isn't too expensive. And then I remembered I have to craft all these first. Which, I'm going to have to go and get more gold. Fantastic. Alright, we'll just put gold ingot in there. And, I don't know, drop two diamonds worth. That'd be plenty. Whoa! Did not. Oh, unlucky number thirteen. That's fine. It'll be gone in half a second. All right, there we go. And that makes us some of our diamonds back. Um, wait, that's not nearly enough for this project. I can't remember how much we actually had, to be honest. Um. I don't know what this stuff's used for, but we will use some of it. I just, I, I don't want to run out of any materials, because that's just going to ruin the episode. <laughs> Alright, I think this is plenty. Alright, so let's see, we got to turn two of these iron into gold and then diamond. Whoop, misclick there. And now we can just quickly turn these into diamond. And then we have the final piece, which will be the diamond pick. So now we've got our diamond pick, and now all we need is a pinch of redstone. And we'll go ahead and toss the, that back in there in case Chris needs it. Um, and let's see how it goes. Let's see how, let's test my memory here. Let us see. Perfect. All right. Awesome. That worked out perfectly. All right. So the quarry is done. Um, <laughs> I have no idea where this came from. Screw it. I'm using it. I'm not going to complain. Um, all right. I'll just tell him thanks real quick, and we'll continue on our merry way. I don't want to be talking to him too much. Um, and diamond drills are like better than diamond pickaxes if you can uh, keep them charged. Um, so, yeah. All right. So now we, I guess, we need to get pipes, which means. Now, I can't remember what the purpose of iron pipes for. Um, 
What's that? Iron waterproof, iron transport. I'm just gonna... And there's what? Gold pipes too? Yeah, there is. Alright, um, I'm not sure as to what those do. I'm pretty sure gold goes, makes it speed, like, up a great deal. Um, so I'm gonna make quite a bit of gold. Oh, by the way, yeah, me and Chris had a little bit of fun. These are, this is a pretty cool thing about Tega. You can make iron knives, and if you right-click, you throw them. It's, um, and you can retrieve them and stuff, and that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, Ooh, I know what I'll do. Uh, where's our talismans of repair? Now, these little things are fantastic because they repair items in your inventory before they break. So, let's see. Um, oh, it requires the dust. Um, what kind of dust do we need? Uh, we need the high covalence dust. Which is either this one or this one. Either way, when we select the tool, it should... Right before breaking is when it's supposed to repair it. Why isn't it repairing it? In your inventory, it's supposed to repair... Like, diamond tools and stuff. If, uh... You have the dust, maybe? The whoa, 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 whoa. That was a mistake. Alright, now this is mine. That's actually mine. Let's see if the dust has to be on our hot bar. A lot of things are really buggy and tech it. Like, I'm gonna use the hot bar and stuff, but... Okay, I'm pretty sure if we just throw these in there, um, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother. Um, wooden transport pipe, we'll need those. Uh, we'll take some cobblestone, here's our glass that we'll need, use some of that for him. Um, I don't know what we can transmute, we'll just turn some coal. Well, coal's not very valuable. Let's use... Wait. It's equal, it's equal to Nicolite. We'll just use some coal and Nicolite. Um, and one of these. And some of this. <laughs> Chris is probably looking at that chest like, My lapis! No! Yeah. Chris enjoys his lapis. We all enjoy our lapis here. The Shadow... Every member of the Shadow Army should enjoy lapis. Just saying. Lapis is a pretty amazing thing. So yeah, I'm just going to convert this to gold, because gold's somewhat valuable. And then, perfect. Alright, now that is more than enough gold for any pipes I create. So let's just go ahead and create, I don't know, 24. That's good. And then we'll turn cobble transport pipes, and then I'm not going to bother with making wood transport pipes, because we don't really need them. Alright, so now the fun part of going up and setting up this quarry begins. Um, now, I can't remember how to make the little markers, so let's check and see. Now, these are cool because they keep that running, which we'll need. We'll need to make those. How expensive are they? Whoa. Oh, not what I wanted. Woo, that is not too bad, actually. We just gotta go to the nether. Alright, well, that's not what either either of us need. We need the quarry marks. Um, there we go. Landmark, that's what we need. Alright, so what? what's the... Okay, it's just redstone torch and lapis. Alright, let's just grab two, three of those, because that's all you realistically need. Um, you can have four, but there's really no point in it, because three will mark in the exact same way that four will... Whoa. Okay. Um, there we go. Now, I want this stuff so I can actually cut the quarry off. I'm not sure if applying redstone to the quarry will actually cut it off. I would hope it would. Alright, let's go ahead and get the pipes out so we can test this stuff once we get this set up. And then, I guess first we'll need this. Or we'll need... We'll need dirt. Yeah. Basically, we're just going to have to make... Um, we're going to have to make, like, the stupid-looking dirt towers that everybody always hates in 
Minecraft servers. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be that guy. I guess realistically, we don't have to make those though. Come on. All right, there we go. I mean, I guess realistically, we don't have to, but uh, I know what I can do. I will. Um, oh, genius! I will place one there, one there, and one here. And now, I should be able to place the quarry by jumping. Perfect. That worked actually really well. But the only thing is, um, I wanted it to be able to dig this up. I don't know, I'll just... Uh, I'll... I'll do this off camera, we'll be right back. So gonna die. 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 Oh my god. Oh god. Drowning. 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 Okay. Okay. That was lucky. Um, now let's go and get, like, some smooth stone brick or something so I can put a little platform around this. Um. Because I don't want the quarry area to be very large. Because it might, uh, that's what these are for. Um, I don't, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really want them to be that large. Because what in the world is he doing? He does understand that if he puts anything in this mace raider, it's going to jam the whole system because of that glass, right? Well, now it's done smelting, so. Alright, I guess it's okay. I could have just came in. Oh my god, falling in the background. Fantastic, forgot to mute the ringer. Be back in a sec. Screw it, not going to bother with it. Can't get the phone to comply with me. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about it. Now. What I want to do is I eventually want to have a completely automated mining system, um, which is my hopes for this quarry. Um, however, you can see Chris is getting into some of the um, the slabs and paneling here because he's Chris has always really liked decorating houses and stuff. Which, um, if, I mean, just look at this place. It looks looks great. He's just gotta um, do all the furnishings, and to be honest, I bet that's what this paneling's for. Cause I don't know, I I could see Chris coming in and doing some of this stuff. You know, just making it look very. I don't know. It it'll just look fancy. We'll we'll see it when in an episode or two. I'll show you guys his progress every couple episodes, maybe. Um. Now, what in the world did you do with... What did you do with the smooth stone bricks, Chris? Apparently, he destroyed them all. No, there's one. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for leaving me one smooth stone brick. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that, just to let you know. There's gonna be a lot of me just ranting randomly at Chris, who can't talk back. Just because I can. So... Whoops. And you ever did it. I totally ever did this way too much. Holy Jesus. Um, I'm going to return these to Chris. This is what Chris... This is what originally... These chests were all full of some of the stone brick for this castle originally. I only need like a stack, so let's just... There. Convert into gold. Something easier there. Turn into coal. That'll work. That's somewhat useful. Now, I don't know if I want to... I don't want to run our quarry off this. But I don't want to run it off engines and buildcraft because... Can you even run it off engines and buildcraft? I don't even know. That's sad. Um, all I know is... That combustion engines explode if not properly cooled. And I don't want to risk that happening, so we're not going to do that. Um, we'll probably end up using combustion engines at some point. But it'll be very sparingly. Um, not a huge fan of any other idea. And once we, um, once this quarry's dug all the way to bedrock and back, we will, um, we'll move it and we'll 
circulator around this platform we build, but we're not going to, uh, you know, just leave water flowing in that nasty manner. Like, um, we'll see here, like that. So we'll try to keep the world looking, looking beautiful, and all that stuff. All right, so I've got to decide how to power this thing, and I also have to decide how to. Let's see. Let's go with the. Let's check this out. All right, we gotta get eight solar panels around a light voltage transformer. I don't even know if I trust doing that. That can make this thing. Sp well, no, it's a low voltage. Um, let's look at our other options here. Um, let's just go and check and see what we need to make an energy link, which is uh, what you need to transfer energy into other forms of energy. Okay, so we need two advanced alloy, a wooden conductive pipe, and two gold gears. Okay. Now, in all honesty, I kind of want to run this off... I don't know what I want to run this off. What I want to run this off of. Um, since this is the objective for this episode, not the next episode, I'm going to have to let Chris choose. But I'll start letting you guys choose a lot of stuff. Um, I'll keep this portion of the video in, just so you guys can see. Um, I'm not the fastest typer, sorry. Um, definitely not the fastest typer. Uh, keep this on me. I guess I'll get rid of the cobblestone now. And the dirt. <sighs> I don't want to choose, dude, and I'm making a video. There. If he can't choose, I'm just going to let you guys choose and cut this video short or do something else. Let's go ahead and be looking for that advanced alloy. See if we can't find some. Oh, we actually have advanced alloy. That's perfect. And then we need some redstone, I remember. And we need... Um, But it might run a bit slow if we do that. That's fine, I think. Uh, that's probably what his reaction is going to be. So let's see here. We need energy link and this wooden conductive pipe. I know how to make gears. Wood, wooden transport pipe, redstone. Okay. That's fairly straightforward. Let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, I don't know what the fastest way is, dude. I'm not, I'm, I'm not tech at wiki. Alright. Gotta get some gears up in here. Oh, which means we need more iron. Great. Just realized that. Now, I don't have a problem with making things out of iron. It's just that it's, a, I guess, technically with, um... Oh! Oh! Hi! How you... I guess technically, don't break eye contact, don't break eye contact, don't break eye contact. I guess technically it's a good, um... Hey! You stop. Whoa. Great. I forgot they dodge arrows and stuff. Well, I'm glad I missed, because then I'd have another angry one. Let's see. We're going to fight him now. Oh, great. Now we've got two angry ones. Okay, let's just go and... There we go. Something to give us a little bit of melee assistance. Because these, uh, the only reason I'm fighting these guys is because the inner pearls are actually pretty valuable, to be honest. Um, even though I didn't get one, they're valuable enough. Um, it's like, what, eight per diamond? I mean, they're fairly cheap, I guess. Don't know. They're 
Like I said, they're valuable enough to interest me. All right, so let's go ahead and make this into iron and then into gold. Um, I forgot what I was going to say earlier because I completely went off on a tangent. Yeah, I have no idea what the fastest way to power it is, but I don't want to use engines. Um, because I don't want to use engines. Um, can I make gold conductor pipe? Yes, I can. Make like eight of those. That'll be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and um, add this cable. Three redstone. What is it? Two events that will be here. This here. And would that work? No, no, it will not. All right, that is our energy link, which is fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna tell him I'll just use our geo thermal. All right, cool. So we're gonna take some rechargeable batteries for to create a bat box for the geothermal to have extra power, so it doesn't run low. Because this is our little geothermal generator, which I'm just gonna let it run its course by powering stuff. Um, we've got too much power to be running this stuff, anyways. Um, we'll eventually probably end up moving completely to solar. Um, Back in our Industrial Craft days, if you didn't watch my old Industrial Craft series, solar was the way to go, man. Solar was the most efficient power, and yes, they're a little bit more expensive now, but still not enough to outweigh the fact that it works very well. Um, hey, it doesn't cost an excessive amount of money or anything. Alright, so we need a little bit of wood, which pff, probably used all, all of it with my luck. Nope, that's plenty. All right, so let's go ahead and add some wood up here. These batteries. And a piece of cable. And now we have a bat box. So now we've got a bat box, we've got a geothermal generator. Now the great thing about this is we can actually make these using EMC, and it's like running coal, kind of, value-wise. So it's easy to get a geothermal cell, and they actually produce a good bit of power. Um, I don't know if it's exactly efficient, um, as far as tech it goes, but, um, I mean, it's efficient enough in my opinion, or, yeah, there we go, and, shoot, what else can we drop in here, let's just, I don't know, there, now I've got plenty of power, power for days, alright, so we'll take those, and then I, I think I need a wrench to get that, so let's just not risk it. <laughs> I'd rather not. Let's just take our bronze here and make ourselves a nice little pretty wrench. Whoa, you can make mine carts? That's cool. Alright, so now we got a nice little wrench in which we can grab this machine safely for the most part. Um, sometimes your machines still break, but for the most part they don't. And that one broke. Of course, the, the one that we needed the most broke. <sighs> terrible, terrible luck. What can I tell you? Alright. Cool. So our solar should be running fine now. Providing us with plenty of power. And then let's see. I'm trying to remember how to make these. I'm going to need some tin and glass. And... I'm just going to look it up for our own sake, for the sake of the video. Ooh, there's Mark II. Oh, there's no recipe for the Mark II. Alright, so we need four pieces of glass, two cells, two refined iron. That's that's easy. That's easy peasy. Alright, so let's go ahead and make those cells real quick. Like I know there's probably some empty cells lying around here, but... To be honest, I, I don't care. We've got... Yep, there were some empty cells right there. Um, I don't care. We have enough resources. We can... We can, like, convert rotten flesh or something if we have to. Um, now, one idea I have for this series that has piqued my interest is a mob spawner. And I think Obsidian Pipe, if I'm not mistaken, picks up things off the ground. If that's the case... Uh... Let's have a mob spawner that just generates random stuff. Let's um cut this off. Oh, cut, cut. Off. Off I said. 
Eh, that works, I guess. There we go. Alright. Um. You, you, you aim in a, you, you wanna, you wanna go, bruh? You wanna go? Is that it? He types yes, he's just gonna get shot immediately in the face and then throwing knifed. <gasps> he killed our dog. Alright, anyways, we'll just, I'm sure he won't. Eh. That Slenderman skin, man. That Slenderman skin is creepy as hell. Alright. So we're going to make our little precious geothermal generator. And, um... You know what? I don't want to use normal copper wire because it does lose power. Let's, um... Let's grab this. Some glass. I'm just going to grab a stack of glass. I don't care less. And, um... Redstone, which we already have. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's either two diamonds or one diamond. There we go. All right, so now we have some. Of the, we have the most efficient uh, cable in industrial craft. I'm not gonna say in the game because I honestly don't quite know that for sure. Um, now let's see. I think this is all we need to get her up and running. So let's go ahead and maybe expand this platform a little bit so we make sure we have plenty of room. But before we power this thing, we definitely want to make sure that, um... Definitely want to make sure that we have not only enough space, but we want to make sure we have it hooked up to... I guess I'll bring the condenser out here, actually. Um... Let's let this go a little further back. A lot of people complain about unworking water in Minecraft, but I don't mind it. It's uh, a little obnoxious when you're drowning, but besides that, pretty much good. Let's go grab our energy condenser real quick and bring it out there, and that way if we ever need to get fresh lava cells, we can just make them on the spot, toss them in the machines, and that'll be the end of it. So... Let's hope that, that didn't... Yep, that stayed an energy condenser. Alright. So, we're going to have all the little stuff just put in a energy condenser, and then we'll probably just convert it to, like, tungsten ore, something really expensive that just takes up a lot of room. Um, or we just might leave nothing in it and let it handle its own stuff. Um, so we're going to need a cobblestone transport pipe being right there. And then I, I want to see if these gold transport pipes work like I think they do. College, you know, you know, you you guys see where I'm going with this. If you just leave support if you want to help me in this, but if not, that's cool. I understand. Um, you know, find a different commentator and hope you find somebody you can enjoy. Um, I'm not gonna be one of those guys who's like, you know, you're a douchebag because you don't like my channel. No, I could care less whether or not you like my channel. I just hope you enjoy what you watch on YouTube. Um, let's go ahead and remove this sand. Oh, sweet Jesus, this digs way too fast. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm just going to tell him no. Not from now on. Well. Lost, it's fine, but use waypoints more now. There we go. Because you can set little waypoints with the raised minimap thing, so. Or whatever mini map this is, I'm not sure whose it is to be honest. Um, it's whatever comes in ticket. All right, let's. Uh, we'll just use this. Yeah, let's use wood. Just, just for a change, you know, make it look nice and neat. All right, all right, cool. So what we'll do is we'll have the energy condenser in this corner, that or right here, I guess, and then we'll have. Did I not make those two chests? Oh, no, I was in the middle of making them when I got ambushed by that creeper, wasn't I? I think I was. I don't know. You guys will learn quickly, if you're new to my channel, that my memory is terrible. 
but that's fine. Um, no big deal. Do, 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 do. All right, toss that in there, and let's go and bring the double chest in here. And actually, I wanted sand so I could fill this back in, because uh, the geothermal was sitting under there. So we'll put our double chest in this corner, the energy condenser in that corner. Build a nice door. Um, build a nice little door for it and everything. Um, we'll do that in a bit, though. And then I'm just going to place torches around the corner so that we don't have to worry about... Uh, Reaper's exploding, because, uh, yeah, I lose those solar panels and I rage quit Minecraft forever. Um, I've said that before, though. Eh, Minecraft's a game you'll always find yourself coming back to as much as you can pretend you don't, you know, you're not a huge fanboy of it or anything. You'll you'll end up playing more Minecraft. I mean, that's just the way it works. Alright, so. We need to take this copper ore out, silver ore out, and tin ore out. And... I'm going to lose that, um, unless I convert it to coal. Now, what do I have that I can make 73 of? That's actually... Give me an extra piece of redstone, I guess, and yeah, give me nine more bricks. I try not to waste DMC. Alright, so let's now go and toss this in here really quickly. I know you guys probably just getting sick of me going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but... When you're playing Tekkit, that's it's the way I play Tekkit, at least. Um, with Tekkit, the way I see it, you're going to have to do a lot of running back and forth, because you don't got much of a choice. I mean, you're only... What is that noise? It sounds like somebody falling just over and over again. Huh. Oh, <laughs> well. Alright, so this is where, I guess this is where the sorting process will happen. Is this our doorway? It's perfect. This will be perfectly symmetrical, too, if I pipe it like this. So we'll put a diamond pipe there, and this will be the input. We'll have all everything flowing to this pipe, and then we will have the cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. Then we'll have cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. Alright, now... I don't care too much about speed at this process, I suppose. Alright, so to the blue side, we want... Let's see what all we want going to the blue side. We want sand. We want... Alright, we're going to have to go and toss some of this stuff away real quick. Um, <clears throat> let's, um... Wow, Chris. Made an awful lot of obsidian there, buddy. All right, we'll get dirt. Uh, we need flint once again, and then we'll need sand, dirt, um, sandstone, which we can make. Um, flint, gravel. Um, flint, right there. Gravel. Gravel, and then we want. All right, let's just go ahead and go and toss this in here, and we'll run off checklist basically. All right, so we want going in blue. We want cobblestone, gravel, flint, and dirt, and then sandstone, which we have to craft real quick. Because since this is going to be an offshore rig, there's a good chance that we're going to get a lot of sandstone. So I'd rather just have that pump directly in. Um, let's see here. I think that's about everything. We'll get marble at some point, I'm sure. And then we'll put that in there. Um, now, what kind of stuff we want to keep? Redstone? Um, I guess all these ores, really. Um, silver... Tin. Um. A 
obsidian, I guess. Um, um, ooh, if it hits wood down in the mines, if it happens in a mine shaft, we'll want to keep that. And then we'll need what diamond, tungsten ore for sure. We don't want that getting transmuted. That'll fill up that whole chest. Um, well, actually, we might transmute into that. I want lapis. Um, I've got to look and see. I don't even know if we have any more ores that aren't smelted, to be honest. Is that ten? Yeah, that's ten. All right, we've got iron and copper, tin, silver. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll have to run into them as we do. There's uranium that we don't want getting smelted. Um, and then I guess, I guess these are important enough not to get smelted if there's room. Um, if not, screw them. All right, let's go and have a look, shall we? All right, let's also put. Oh, all right, let's put a torch in here too, and wood in case it hits a mine shaft. Um, and then let's put on the red output, we already have copper, silver, and tin. So then we want to put iron ore, uranium, um, coal, um, don't have any gold ore. Uh, you know what, these are pretty much fine if they get transmuted, to be completely honest. Um. If they go in this chest, that's fine. If they go into the transmutation thing, that's fine as well. Um, I don't know. We definitely want diamonds and lapis being sent to red, though. Well, well, yeah, you're going to get a lot more lapis than you would sapphires, I would think. Um, all right. Um, you got... I don't know, coal's not really worth it. Is obsidian even? How much is obsidian worth? 64. Coal's worth much more than obsidian. Um, we'll send that off. Um, I keep... I keep hearing noises that aren't being made by me. It's pretty creepy, actually. So we definitely want at least... Actually, we've got... I know what I'll do. I know you guys have been sitting here listening to me say, I know what I'll do, and then do completely just different things. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to do that. We'll send lapis, diamond, and these ores into the red chest, because this will jam up if we ever try to make an automate, uh, automated smelting machine. And then if... Um, get a little bit paranoid. And then if we ever have overflow or if there's an issue where, I don't know, emeralds won't come through this pipe because there's no filter or something, fine. So we'll just, we can take all this out actually. Get rid of this, we'll get rid of this. Um, dirt. What else was there? Yeah. Well, if there's no filter, I'm thinking it'll run through the, cr the pipe I want it to, which would be... Basically, what I want it would want to happen here is that if it's these at all, I want it to go here. But otherwise, I don't care where it goes. I want it to go here. So, let's hope that works the way I'm thinking and not the way... I originally thought. Okay, let's um. How do we want to do this? I don't really want to screw with the landscape too much. Uh, Jesus, this thing digs way too fast. It's gonna become obnoxious. Let me go and dump some of this crap in the chest. We'll be back in a second after I shoot this zombie in the face, actually. Okay. 
Um, didn't really cut the video. Didn't feel like it. Um, just dump all this in here. I'm really just. I I, I just now remember that at the beginning of the video I said out of me and Chris I'm the organized one. Way wrong on that note. Just want to point that out. Um, that should be apparent by now. I'm going to not record when I get this sorted out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig somewhat down. Like. Was that a frog? Okay, anyways. New ambient noises apparently added. Um, I want to dig down far enough where I can uh, power this thing without it being too noticeable that I'm powering it. Um, hold up. Come down one more. Okay. Um. Let's just use a. Nah, let's say levers are cheaper. Right? 5 EMC, 64. Yeah, definitely cheaper. Let's just throw a lever down here. And get this pipe pumping quick. Okay. So this is now the level we're going to be piping at. Um, at least. From the ocean. Okay. You just gotta be. You have to have a very gentle touch, apparently, with your uh, mouse button. Because if you don't, it's gonna tear through everything. So let's just bury this, and then we'll dig this up, and dig down, dig down, and we'll let that copper pipe out. And we'll try to line this up right. Okay, so there's the copper pipe. Now, um, okay, it's way off, but it's not gonna be lined up or anything. That's fine. We'll um, we'll make it work. Um, Let's see. I actually want to test this. No, of course. They make redstone wiring, right? Or red alloy wire, whatever you want to call it. But they won't let you place it on glass. One of my biggest pet peeves about redstone is you cannot place it on glass. I don't know if there's actually a real life property where glass doesn't conduct electricity or what, but um, that bothers me. Now I don't have any stone bricks. Screw it. We will. I've got to be the most inefficient player. Ever at playing, just in, in general, when it comes to playing Tech It, I've got to, you guys are probably just sitting there just screaming at your computer monitor. But pro I probably have, I'm probably a lot of people just aren't even watching anymore. Probably just like, you know what, this guy's an idiot. Let's not even bother. He doesn't know much about the game. Not even gonna try to explain it to him because he's such a noob. But yeah, if you guys, if I'm doing something wrong or something, feel free to point it out. Just don't, you know, blow up in the comments. Just say, hey, dude, this. This would really help you out. You know, you should probably consider doing this that I act so stupid. Yeah, and I will gladly, gladly take your advice. Now, let's see if this works. Yes, yes it does. Perfect. All right. So, now we just got to connect these pipelines, which is obviously easy. Um, I just want the pipe kind of deep. There we go. That's deep enough. I just want it so it won't be... Um, I don't want to say not be seen. It's just it's not really a secret pipe or anything. But you can't see it underwater apparently. Oh yeah, you can. It's very, very faint. All right, so right here and one more over. So. All right. And we will have to find a way to power gold pipes underwater. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with some sort of method for that. I'm sure there's probably already a way, to be honest, but we'll come up with a, our own little inventive way. Unless, th does red alloy place underwater and hold? Ooh, it does. Come on, come on. Is it 
it really gonna make me risk destroying my That is my complaint about working underwater. If, if I ever had one. You just found it. Mining stuff takes way too long and you really don't need much of an enchantment. Or you have to get that stupid enchantment in order to actually be able to do anything. Only problem with that is if you screw up and play something accidentally underwater, you can't break it. Very easily. Alright, so this should end this episode if this works properly. Let's hope it does. I bet this isn't going to run. Yep. Oh, that's fantastic. Because I'm not going to be able to have this pipe. Um, actually, that works perfectly. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah. Sit off the last bit of your stuff. Come on. Really? Alright, well, it stopped powering it, which means it's out of power. So I just got to wait for this last bit of stuff to screw it. There we go. We're good. I'm sure it's... We'll see. We'll see how much of its speed is maintained. It's maintained up to about here, and then it's going to go in here and hit that pipe again, so... I don't have too big of a complaint with that. And then it's going to come through here, hit this, and just go instantly into its chest. Let's see. Yep, here we go. And... Doosh. Perfect. Alright, now let's see... Let's see. All the cobbles going in there. Which it should be. Let's go ahead and toss some of this crap in here. Alright, that seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna try to use this stuff a good bit. I like... I, I rather like the idea of red alloy wire. It's a good concept, the way they have the physics on this stuff mapped, because you can, like, place it up on walls and back over on the roof. and It's a lot of very cool stuff you can do just because of that little aspect. Um. Alright, let's go and repower the quarry. Because the test worked, so. And then what we'll do is we'll just rotate around this move the platform slightly, maybe extend the, extend the cables and all that. Alright, let's get this cable back. Um, I'm temp half tempted to replace this one and see if the switch will power it and see if it retains any more pa power, but I'm not even going to bother because it going a little bit slow through here isn't an issue for me. I don't mind it. Um, so I don't think there should be a reason to worry too much about it. Um, I think the way we can finish this off is we're going to finish off the first episode of the Gin Shatter Place Tech It, or whatever I'm going to end up calling this. I have no idea. Um, we'll go and make ourselves a door. And... Just in case Chris gets curious, let's grab like three pieces of sand to cover up that pipe. And in case Chris gets curious, let's go ahead and get enough wood for a sign. And make a quick sign, because then we can just put like the quarry sorting station or something. But actually, I know what I'll do. I think you guys will like this idea. Okay. So what we'll do is place this iron door, and we'll have a little... Ah, levers won't work. Ah, I don't want to have to go get smooth stone. See, the thing is, this video is kind of dragging, to say the least. So there's a button, and then we'll make a first plate. There. 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 That works perfectly. So we'll put a button here. Press to walk inside. 
How are you ever supposed to get out? First pad. Let you run out. Perfect. Mobs can't get in. People can't get out. Now, here's what I'm going to let you guys do. Comment in the comment sections. Whoa. Comment on what we're going to name this. Um, I don't know. User suggested name. Soon. Or, wait. No. Not user. Viewer. Okay. Cool. So, I'll let you guys name this. Put a comment in the comment sections below, and if you can't come up with your own, look through the other comments. See what other people are uh, coming up with, and if you like it, then, um, heck, uh, upvote it, and whoever gets the most thumbs up, I will, uh, put your username, uh, on YouTube, here, um, and whatever you decide to name it on the first three lines. Just make sure you can keep it on these three lines, and then make sure your YouTube name is, uh, will fit on this one, because if not, I'll have to do two lines. Um, because I'm not going to do two signs. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to sit here and bask in the glory of this fairly decent invention I've built on the first day. And probably what I want to convert you to. There. That's... Actually, wait. Just for the sake of space. For the sake of space. Um... This is what I've been thinking for a while is a good method is to use this tungsten ore. Is to just convert everything into that because it's worth twice as much as diamond. Okay. And there. And now we're good. Alright, so the quarry is up and running. Our solar power for this next time I really w think we should work on. But I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, if I don't get any comments, we'll just do this. A maceration and basically everything from here getting sorted. And then... We use more of this diamond pipe and ship it out of here. Uh, get rid of this power system and this. Ship it into the castle. Um, unless Chris has bigger plans for the castle. Um, I'll talk to him about that. And then we will send everything into a chamber where each individual... Oh god, I'm out of... I don't have bullets, I don't have bullets, I don't have bullets, I don't have bullets. Uh, crap. Uh, we'll send it all to a specific macerator for that type of ore. And we'll also, um... Have, a, like, an electric furnace or an induction furnace or, I don't know, something good. There we go. And we'll, we'll have something, you know. Oh, come on. <laughs> this video is dragging on for so long. Don't even know. Apparently, I lost my knife. Great. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh God, he's, he's, he's totally going to murder me. Totally going to mur murder me. Well, he might not. Okay. I am just... Psst. Okay, then. Um, I, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm just rambling at this point. This is absurd. All right. Um, also, I got a couple questions. So, of course, this video is going to take longer than I thought. Um, you guys want to see any live streams um, on Twitch or something? Uh, let me know. Give me an answer on that one. What did I do with my musket balls? Or some of them. Okay. Um, besides that, I'm just going to screw around and tech it for a little bit longer and find out what I can about some of this piping and the more complicated stuff for a different video. But for the next video, we'll probably have a big smelting, basically a, a, a sorting system, which we're already kind of working on, a smelting system, or a macerating system, so we get more for the ore, and then a smelting system, which will smelt that, and then we need a storage system. Um, so it's all kind of, we get to be lazy and not do anything, we get to go and build. And maybe in one episode or something, I'll like, Put sh make a bunch of wool and go and do some uh, artwork or something. I don't know. Uh, I rather like doing that, to be honest. But for now, guys, I'm going to go out to our project. This is the Jin Shadow playing Ticket. And thank you for watching.